this is Gunpoint. It's a stealth puzzle game um, for PC that I'm working on where you play a freelance spy who takes jobs from his clients to break into high security buildings and steal data. And in this trailer I want to show you some of the gadgets you use to do that. So you can see I've got projectile trousers that let me jump really high. I've got glue-on gloves that let me slide up, up and down buildings. And I've got a special trench coat which means I don't fall to my death for some reason. Um, the main gadget you use is the crosslink, which lets you switch to this mode where you can see all of the electronics in the building and you can drag them around to wire them however you want, you want them to work. So normally a light switch turns off a light, but I can wire it to a door and open and shut that. Or I can wire it to this trapdoor and when I press the switch, the trapdoor is going to open. Um, but I'm going to wait until the guard's actually on top of it before I do that so that he doesn't have a chance to avoid it. And then I can even jump up through. So I also want to, eventually I want to get down to this PC down here um, to steal the data I'm here for. And to do that I'm going to need to hack into the blue circuit because that trapdoor is on the blue circuit. And I need to get to that circuit box to tap into it. That guard's guarding that so I'm going to need to distract him. So I'll do that by going up there in an elevator. Not going to get out there. But now I can take the stairs and hack this. There are a bunch of different ways to do it from here but the way I'm going to do it is um, I'm going to be jumping out of this window on the right, so when I get down there, I want to be able to get through that door. So I'm going to wire that light switch to that door and open it. Now, I also need to open that trap door, but if I do that from up here, it'll shut again before I can reach it. So instead, I'm going to wire this camera to the trap door, and then when I get in, it'll sense me and open the trap door when I'm actually down there. So I'm going to jump out. God's going to hear that. And just didn't see me. And now that I'm down here, I can just wire this light switch to that door, open it up, and hack the terminal. So the crosslink is a gadget you have to use um, to progress. It's kind of what most of the puzzles are based on. Um, but after that, all the other gadgets are optional, and they're more about kind of buying something that will um, help you play the way you want to and kind of enhance your, your particular choice of play style. Um, so when I jumped out of that window there, it broke with a loud noise, and uh, the guard heard it and came running. If you want to be more stealthy than that, you can use a gadget called the Hushcracker. So each gadget has a training level where you need the gadget to progress and it teaches you how to use it. Um, so if I try and jump through this window first, the guy just shoots me. But if I click mid-air to activate the Hushcracker, I can break it silently. And there's these batteries here on the floor. You'll see my power has been drained by using the Hushcracker. And I can pick these up to replenish it. And then use it again to break out of here silently. And then also on most... Um, training levels there's a laptop somewhere that's uh, an optional objective and those just have kind of interesting emails on them so I'm going to go and get this one I'm not going to read this now <laughs> and then I'm done so the next one I want to show you is called the prank spasm <laughs> and uh, this is a device for kind of um, for getting rid of people in a non-lethal way um, but you have to be a bit sort of circuitous about it. So there are power sockets in the levels, and if I link something to a power socket and I activate it, it will emit a shock. And if someone's walking past when that happens, it knocks them out, which is great. But this guy isn't standing next to it, and I don't have an easy way of making him stand next to it. So the prank spasm lets you route power through a power socket to another device to electrify that. So I'm going to connect it up to that light switch that is next to the guard, and then I can electrocute him. So the last one I want to show you is my favourite, uh, it's called the Long Shot, and it upgrades your crosslink device so that you can rewire enemy guns just like any other electronic device. So you can see all their guns are highlighted in red now and I can drag connections to or from them. Um, if you drag a connection from a gun to something else, then when the guard tries to fire it, it instead of firing a bullet it will activate whatever it's linked to. Um, so that has two different advantages, one is you get to activate something and the other is you don't get shot. So this guy, I'm going to actually, I could wire it to the light so he turns off the lights when he tries to shoot me, but I'm going to wire it to this door and then go up there. And uh, I jumped on him as quickly as I could because um, although it stops them firing immediately, they can reset their gun and um, get it back online. So there's still an element of uh, time sensitivity. Using that drained all of my power, so I have to pick up four batteries before I can use it again. And I could just leave now, but there's these two guards on the top floor and a laptop 
behind them that I'd like to get to. Now this guy is um, has kind of heavy armor, so you can't jump on him. Um, the guy behind I could jump on, but I'm not going to be able to get to him through that guy. So if you wire something to a gun, then if I was to wire this light switch to a gun, um, I could uh, press the light switch and then the gun would go off. So you can force, gun force guards to fire when they don't want to. So I could do that here, but um, it doesn't totally solve the problem. I need to get rid of both these guys. So I'm going to combine the fact that guns don't work if they're wired to something else, and also the fact that if something is wired to a gun, it's going to go off. So I want the guy in front to not be able to shoot me, and I want the guy behind him to shoot without meaning to. So I'm going to wire it that way around. I got that. Guard in front tries to fire, guard in the back. His gun goes off without meaning to, and they're both out. So that's it in terms of gadgets. Um, I'm also, uh, the other thing I want to do in this trailer is announce that Gunpoint is coming to Steam. And uh, Valve actually approached me like more than a year ago, um, but uh, I'm finally allowed to talk about it now. And I've just been tinkering recently with getting Steam achievements working. And I want to give huge thanks to Jonathan Biddle, the creator of Stealth Bastard, um, who's been helping me get them working just purely out of random indie generosity, <laughs> um, uh, which is awesome. Uh, I don't have a release date or a price yet, um, I'm not quite uh, close enough for that, but if you want to buy something, buy Stealth Bastard. <laughs> it's on Steam, it's great, it's really cheap, um, and there's new DLC that uses a uh, like special teleporting device that's really cool. Um, you're probably not supposed to use your own trailer to advertise someone else's product, but, well, I'm in D2. The last thing is, um, if you want to get an email when Gunpoint is coming out, um, or when it's open for pre-orders, or when the demo comes out, or anything like that, um, there's a mailing list you can sign up to at gunpointgame.com.